And uh, then she had me direct my first direct piece, which was in Noah. Hmm. And uh, she was guiding me at all this. Meantime, there was a little side egg. She was also directing all around, too. And she came to me. She called me up one day. She said, "How?" this was the words, how adventurous are you? And I said, well, no, okay. Right. She said, I need you to do something for me. I said, okay. She said, I'm directing the Mikado for Dalhousie, Dramatic and Glee Society, Glee and Dramatic Society. And we open day after tomorrow. The fellow who is playing Puba has broke his leg. I need you to do the role for me. I said, okay. <laughs> Don't even why I said, okay, I scared to death. She said, okay, come over right now to Dalhousie because we're going to start with the music and I'll give you the script. And that's what we did. And uh, the next day, she called together the cast who understandably were really nervous, nervous, upset, da 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 da, and like, with all due respect, this is going to be a calamity. <laughs> like, you know, he has two days, please, like, you know. Now, I had done the Mikado a few years before at Teachers College, but I played Coco. Oh. But I knew the thing still. So you'd been in it. <laughs> and you'd done a few, you know, if you'd gone to rehearsal. Yeah. So, you'd, you know, you'd so know I stuff. tackled this thing. We went through the, the rehearsal with them all. And of course, I was pacing, pacing, pacing. They didn't understand that. The next day, we're going to open, but we're going to have a rehearsal in the afternoon. When we go. And just went. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it is true because it's so funny. One of the uh, uh, actors in it, Hamil Climate, Hammy and I are friends though, on, on Facebook. He, was, he talked about it not too long. He said, never forget it. He always remembered it. Nancy White played Katisha. Mm -hmm. It was a sublime hit. It really was. Mm -hmm. But I say it only because I know how important it was to what I did later and how I approached it because of Jenny. Uh, I, and because I was op operating in a specific place that I still operate in now, the, the power and the potency and the energy from the social political sphere, that time Nova Scotia Project, has always fused itself into the artistic output, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. I, in other words, the things that I learned in the socio-political sphere with the Nova Scotia Project is the foundation in so many ways of how I deal with my artistic world mm -hmm. and why I've never found it difficult to understand uh, situations that are happening in this artistic world right to this day and are of such huge uh, concern and rightfully so to those who are embroiled in this world but cannot see it from an outside perspective. Look, just because you're in this sphere, call this an artistic world, does not mean that you are not part of this entire sphere. You think you're separate. You're not. You are motivated by and you are influenced by exactly the same thing. Look at it all from a very political point of view. Mm -hmm.